Now, Sake, this is very important to our teammate. Don't screw this up. Sakura, I'm the strongest person on the planet and a user of the Renegade and the last of the Uchiha clan. Do you really think I'm capable of failing such a simple task? First of all, Naruto is stronger than you. He beat you in a fight. And second of all, yes, I think you are perfectly capable of screwing this up. You're one of the biggest assholes I've ever met, Sakura. There's no way I'm going to ruin the loser's wedding. Trust me, my speech will be amazing. First of all, I'd like to thank you for gathering here today for the wedding of this amazing woman. Uh, I can... Uh, Hana I Inazuka. Hana Inazuka. God damn it, Nakakun. And the world's biggest loser and the future failure of the Hokage of Naruto Uzumaki, as I said before, a great loser. Um, they are both weaker and inferior and are amazing for each other. Totally. Because they both deserve, like, uh, I think, uh, I think the term is happiness. And families. You know, I had a family once. My brother killed them. I wonder if Naruto's son will kill his family. Wouldn't that be unfortunate? But, uh, yeah, I'm sure Hana and, uh, the loser will be very, very happy together. I spent a lot of time putting together this speech so I could be as thoughtful as possible for the man who saved my life. Naruto, I hope you enjoyed my speech. And then you, I'm sure you will not regret making me the best man and giving me the chance to make this amazing speech. Congratulations to Hana Inazuka and Naruto Uzumaki, the world's biggest dumbass. Nakura, what the hell? You promised you'd check the speech. You promised you'd okay it. Well, he said when I questioned the speech that I didn't stop questioning it. He grabbed the cheetah voice through my chest. And considering his track record, I, uh, I didn't doubt he would. So for the sake of my own life, I put my life before your wedding. Sorry, man. I'm really, really, really sorry. Uh, like, and I'm gonna go, uh, remind him that your wife's name is Hinata Yoga. Hopefully he'll feel bad about it. Probably not, though. I still don't understand how you can be in a relationship with him. He's an asshole. He literally just ruined my wedding by giving the most insensitive thing possible. Well, maybe I'm a masochist. And uh, look at that, he not I think we should get going and we should like leave like now before these people ruin our wedding even more. Good day, future Mr. Tia.